Yes, it might be grand to have someone understand what's happening. <laughs> I want so much more <laughs> than they've got planned. What a dream boat. Um, it didn't worry me so much that she was animated, but that she was a girl. And I didn't understand what any of that meant. I didn't have the language for it. Um, but I knew that I needed to keep quiet about it. I felt I should keep quiet about it because there weren't any examples, resources, books, or television programs that could help me verbalize what I was feeling. And when you don't see or hear anything that reflects something about you, or if you do and it has negative connotations in the mainstream, it makes one feel like there is something wrong with you, that who you are and the way you feel is shameful. Um, so this is a graphic that was going around Tumblr by an artist by the name of M. Thesson, and it's describing Whoopi Goldberg the first time she saw Uhuru on Star Trek. Um, and she called all her like family members and was like, come on, like there's a black lady on TV and she's not playing a maid. And for her, that kind of gave her the fuel to think that she could act and she could play roles that were more broad. Um, I could escape my feelings of anxiety and fear and, in books and writing. Uh, books and reading became a refuge for me, especially in middle school and high school. But most of the books we were reading in school did not have queer characters. I had to find books that did have queer characters or storylines that spoke to me on, and spoke to my own experience at my town library. I thank the library for allowing me to check out and read books that help speak to my experience and made me feel less alone. I thank the library for being a place of refuge when I really didn't know what I was feeling, but found authors that had the words to help me. I thank the library for not judging me, even when I judged myself so harshly. I thank the library for allowing me to learn about myself with dignity and in the privacy of a safe space. 